Hi Scorpios and welcome to your July 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the incredible energies coming in for you in the month of July. Welcome Scorpios. If you guys are new here and you like the video, if it resonates, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and give the video a thumbs up to get it out there. Um, I love what I'm seeing for your sign right now. I've been meditating on your energy today and I've been trying to understand what's coming up for you. And as I'm seeing your spread, it's really coming together and it's really clicking. First of all, you guys have no reversals coming up, okay? Everything is upright. You've got four major arcana cards. I always say if there are three or more, it's going to be a very memorable month. You've got Justice, the Lovers, the Empress, and the Death card coming up. What potent, striking, and um, reinvigorating energy I feel coming in for you. Choices to make, yes. Things to get clear, for certain, um, and also a few things to let go of and a few things to no longer need or no longer have to partake in is exactly what I'm feeling for you. So coming out of June, I do feel there's a restlessness, there's a restless nature, there's a um, even a jitteriness or a, something that's shaken, um, something that even feels a little bit disheartened or discouraged, but I really want to reassure you, Scorpios, that July will make this better. July will really come in and pleasantly surprise you. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I'm not going to go too much more deeply into that. You know, is this, is this sense of pleasant surprise something that's actually, you know, difficult? I don't think so. I think that there is something so much better than you expected and so much more free and liberating than you expected. Um, what I want to talk about, um, an intuitive message that I'm getting before we get directly into the tarot, is um, the, what do I want to say, there is a corseted feeling about your energy right now that it's really important to loosen up a little bit this month. I do feel you're being very careful or very cautious, which makes sense. Um, with all this Capricorn energy for a Scorpio, um, retrograde Capricorn energy, it makes you want to do everything right. It makes you want to do everything perfect, all the details. It makes you want to really get things in order, get things straight, get things cleared up. And with that, you can kind of be too cautious or you can like move through a space so quietly or so um adeptly that there's almost no recognition of what you're doing or what you're going for um there's something very quiet about your energy here and this might not be for all scorpios because some scorpios can be quite loud too um but what i'm feeling is that uh people don't really know what you're shooting for right now people aren't really clear on your um trajectory and with that, Scorpios, are you clear on your trajectory? I think that your karmic momentum, your physical trajectory, like, and what I mean is like what you know that you're striving for, what you know that you're moving toward, I think that that is something that you want to find more comfortable by the end of this month. As I'm feeling that you might have a lot of different goals, a lot of different ambitions, uh, the Capricorn year actually really bolsters your resources. Um, so yes, it can look like being more successful, um, having more support from other people, um, having, you know, stronger friendships, stronger relationships, uh, stronger finances, stronger uh, time management. And these are all blessings, Scorpio. Don't scour them, okay? Don't, don't just, you know, let it dissipate. Like, really... I think a month like July really shows you how much you've gained, how much you've gotten, and how much you stand to still um, receive. So with that in mind, Scorpio, with a lot of benevolence most likely coming into you, a lot of abundance, um, the energy of justice, the energy of Two of Pentacles as well, um, which Two of Pentacles is like a minor arcana justice card. I think you're really, um, some of you are indecisive, but some of you are also just trying to decide, okay, is this the direction for me or is that the direction for me? Do I go here? Do I go there? Do I keep in this career or do I make a change? And that has been going on for a long time for you guys, it feels like. Um, ever since January, to me, it's feeling like there is um, this sort of Libra being in the scales, being uh, weighing out all of the balance and everything. Um, July really wants to solve that for you, and I do think that it's really imperative because it's still upright, okay? It's still something that's okay in July to be a little bit, you know, you know, how do I work with this benevolence? How do I work with this abundance? You know, do I do it here? Do I do it there? Do I build this up? Do I take this down? That's still okay in July, but 
by especially Virgo season, okay, perhaps even a little bit of August, that is still the case, um, but by Virgo season, that needs to really get clear, and I'm hoping to really see a little bit more of commitment or a little bit more of um, truly understanding what the path forward is, because the whole goal of a Capricorn year like this, especially for a Scorpio, um, is to really fix a linear path, okay, to really understand an end goal or an end game, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have been feeling that, and with that, you know, feeling like, you know, okay, I've got to do this, you know, I've got to, you know, understand how I'm moving forward, a lot of you have kind of thought like, wow, how, how could I make this path? How could I manifest this? How could I forge this? And that's okay, um, but that uh, I want you guys to maybe really sit and meditate with um, how that can become something a little bit more assured and how that can become a little bit more uh, safe and comforting. Um, and, to, and what I'm understanding from this spread is that's going to come through the Empress energy, okay? And also through the Death energy. So uh, on one hand, allowing yourself to explore your own life force and your own sense of environmental support with the Empress card. So um, healing certain wounds of sexuality for some of you. Um, with the Empress and the Death card together coming up in the same spread, to me that says a... Um, something dealing with root chakra life force energy, um, a blockage there is probably clearing, so keep that in mind for this month and really try to work with the universe and work with source to understand the best way, most healing way, most high vibrational way out of those types of confines. Um, and aside from root chakra or any type of healing of sexuality, um, there is definitely... Um, a healing of how you interact with your environment. Because the Empress on one hand, yes, it is sexuality, it is, um, you know, the root chakra, but it is also um, our relationship with our environment, you know, our relationship with the objects around us, you know, how we treat the, the objects and the, even also uh, people in our lives, not to say that people are like objects, but they're part of our environment, you know, they're living and breathing. So sort of adapting a more living and breathing uh, ideation about your environment is important. You know, your environment is not just inanimate, even if it, even if you're like single and you live alone and you're just surrounded by inanimate objects, it's still living and breathing. There's still a consciousness in what surrounds you. And that is very connected to our ability with manifestation. Okay. Where we live, where we, what we surround ourselves with all of these things. So that would probably be a potent area of healing this too. Also, let's take a second to also see how you've got uh, two king cards and a queen card. So great elevation potential this month, great promotion energy or uh, gaining respect, gaining esteem, gaining, um, you know, relevance as well. This is really interesting, Scorpios, because that, that, that's sort of been my hypothesis for how a Scorpio experiences Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, and Capricorn, is it really is such a bolstering, establishing, and protective energy for you guys, where it's almost kind of like you're the right hand or the left hand. You're not like the you're not like the figure of God, but you're like the right hand or the left hand. And now that's an interesting thing. Now that could go explosively horribly with some people's egos. Watch out for that because I do think that this can be an extremely egoic time for certain Scorpios too. So you guys know I don't sugarcoat. You guys know that I give things really straight. A Scorpio with, um, you know, thinking like I am, you know, above other people. I am, you know, truly, um, you know, just, um, not beholden to anybody but myself. Um, this type of selfishness can also bring about a lot of um, destructive choices too. So it's really important if we're feeling this this sense of power, which I think every Scorpio is feeling to a degree, where we realize, okay, there is an elevation, there is more uh, progress, there is more capability here. Um, how do I now uh, work with that in a way that is not just beneficial to myself, but to, you know, humanity or society as a whole. That can be a kind of a area of contention for Scorpios right now is how do I, you know, personalize it and give back, but without stripping myself of, you know, what I need as well. That's a lot of what your decision making is working with right now. But as you do that from an integrity based place and an authentic place, and also it, to a degree, um, an enjoyment of fun or where responsibility or the uh, culmination or consolidation of certain past experiences becomes something fun, there is this great elevation into King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups energy. Really, really neat Scorpios. Um, I, I really love what I'm seeing. Anyway, um, we're, we're going to uh, spend a lot of time if we're not too careful on these intuitive messages. Um, let's look into the week to week right now, Scorpio. So week number one of July, you've got justice rooted down by King of Pentacles. So um, 
yeah, also getting finances in order. I think there's probably like a bill to pay for a lot of you there, a debt to pay off. Also to other people, if it's not money, maybe you owe somebody something or somebody owes you something. Um, and that's going to sort of be seen during that time. So you could kind of have a lot to pay or a lot to give, but I think you have plenty uh, to work with in that way. To me, the uh, words that come up with that combination of energies is uh, fiscal maturity. So being very mature with what you do have, um, watch out for any type of impulse spending or any type of, you know, um, uh, frivolous spending, because that certainly would not be supported at that time. Also, um, we need to sort of get further into July, like later July, once Mercury gets, you know, good and direct again. Uh, we need to really get there before there's too much, you know, taking on of huge debt or taking on of huge, you know, um, anything that's a huge decision, I, w I would postpone a little bit. But I mean, everything's upright for you guys, so I'm not too worried. But uh, Justice and King of Pentacles, that's kind of like maybe like signing a lease or getting a mortgage or something that deals with like legal monetary things. So uh, that would be really good to get in order there as well. Like if you're a business owner, maybe getting that paperwork in order or understanding your next year's plan or something like that. Really good for the first week of July. Okay, week number two, Scorpios, the lovers, rooted down by two of pentacles. So here we are, Scorpios. <laughs> week number two of July, this indecisiveness, this crossroads, this weighing the balance. Uh, do I do this? Do I do that? Do I keep it the same? Do I change it? That that has been hitting you since January or February of this year. Um, really figuring that out in the second week of July. Okay, personal mission personal mission to get a lot of that in order and at least understand what you're doing for the rest of the year. Um, by year, I mean like t t until March of 2021, um, the astrological year. Understanding what you're doing for that set of time will at least be a good first step to less indecisiveness here and now because it's still favorable. The indecisiveness is still somewhat favorable to you, meaning that it's okay to still be considering and pondering, but indecisiveness is a funny thing. Uh, when we can't decide and it stretches out too long, and it's already stretched out quite a while, quite a ways for you guys, um, when it stretches out too long, it becomes something that shifts from like favorable to extremely chaotic, where there are things like halfway in and halfway out, and, and now it's really difficult to um, understand. So try to maybe save yourself some hassle or save yourself some trouble in the second week of July and really make a decision on what you want, okay? And this is where things maybe get a little bit deeper, Scorpio. Um, and what we always can learn from the lover's card is, um, if you see the lover's card in the artwork, you've got the left choice and the right choice. And above that is a more broad, grand, more unhuman moral or experience. So really the choice of going left or going right, or the choice of, you know, taking the left path or the right path, um, that is less important than the overarching experience going on. So seeing the moral above certain decisions that you need to make is an important uh, concept. All right. Also with two of pentacles, reading that down, understanding that you've come past the most difficult point. This is what I love about two of pentacles. Um, uh, I rarely talk about this with two of pentacles, but Despite there being an indecisiveness, you've come off the tor the, the torrential waters, you know, you've come off of the the uh, chaotic storms and you're past that, but it's still behind you. It's still in view. So is this does this indecisiveness have anything to do with what you're currently experiencing, or is it maybe a result of a certain um, tribulation of the past, and could that now just become more calm now? And is this decision really something that um, comes from a place of something that needs to change or needs to be decided on, or, or is it maybe a symptom of things having been so perilous in the past? So let, let's really think of that in the second week too. Third week, Scorpios, you've got the Empress rooted down by Queen of Cups. Um, great energy there again. I think that Leo season comes in and some of you will start a new relationship there. Some of you will meet somebody new. So if you've been single, it's um, a decent time to be meeting new people. Um, also, what I feel even more than that is new friends or taking um, even certain relationships that have been a stable and solid for you for a long time, taking those into a new comforting territory, um, really honoring the people who've helped you. And I, I think that this would be really good, Scorpios, to honor and um, thank those who have helped you, having gratitude, having... Um, 
connection, having emotional understanding of those who are around. And also it might be possible that you can't really get in touch with some of these people. Maybe there are people from your past that you wish you could be in touch with, that you wish you could talk to. Um, sometimes the Empress energy can be um, very passive, and if there isn't enough stimulation or if there isn't enough comfort, it can really seek that through nostalgia or through, especially, especially with Queen of Cups, because Queen of Cups can oftentimes be about memories and uh, the memory of certain feelings. So some of you are maybe hurting or wishing to have something or someone from the past or wishing that there could be um, things made official or things given closure or things spoken of. And that might happen for some of you in the third week of July. Um, also, it's important to understand that things end for a reason or things go away for a reason. Try to find new comfort now, new, healthier, stronger comfort that is not um, stained with like a difficult past or, or, or now shown to be like truly what it is, is something um, very colluded or very, um, I don't know. I feel like people who have betrayed you, Scorpio, or people who have, you know, just um, acted very egoically toward you or never been able to say things straight or never been able to, um, you know, tell you how things are, never being able to face you directly. I think that those people um, can can honestly just crumble away at this point in time, okay? And I think that that's really for the best in most ways. And that sounds a bit imperious, but there is something a little bit in, a little bit imperious about your energy right now, Scorpio. And with that coming in, um, it's important to know that people will kind of try to wield that, okay? And uh, people's egos might really go out of control when dealing with you. So if there's an issue with an ex, or if there's an issue with... Um, if there's an issue with people who where relationships have been, you know, not clear, and now they're in a really uncertain territory, um, understand that people, un with knowing your new solid place themselves, they can be more vengeful because of how well you're doing, or they can be more hateful because of um, of the successes and and the non problems that you have now, you know, many Scorpios really do not have a lot of problems to deal with. And during a year like this, a lot of people can really resent that, and they can really try to create a problem for you just to see you suffer and just to be that person who, um, you know, made sure that somebody who wasn't struggling got a little taste of that, you know, because it's not fair that some people don't have to struggle. That's something Scorpios. Oh my God, I'm getting like chills. I think that that's been a cycle for you for a long time now, um, where where people don't think that you're suffering quite enough, or people don't think that you um, are having things difficult enough. So instead of being um, an easy, kind force for change in your life, if you're not work doing them, you know, if you're not doing them exactly to a T, um, they will, even if not completely consciously, they will sometimes... Um, undermine you or be this way just to enjoy seeing you struggle a little bit okay so that's gross that's a nasty thing to know about this time but yes that 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 is a, a symptom of doing really well scorpio so i don't want you to be discouraged about it i don't want you to freak out about it um because this is that that's that's one of the prices of doing well in life and let me tell you, people who come after you in a weird way or people who are trying to, like, spin stories or gossip behind your back or, um, or you know, I don't know, people who are doing those types of things or trying to punish you through their own presence in your life, um, it's funny to think about how much of their life is wasted in those efforts. So you don't really have much to lose right now, but uh, tr the only thing that you have to lose is the energy and emotional, the emotional energy that you invest into these stories, you know, these ideas of why do they want to see me suffer? Why can't I have nice things? You can have nice things, Scorpio. You can have whatever you want right now, really, um, as long as it's integrity-based and as long as it's not, you know, something that is um, hurting other people or some type of nocturnal situation. Um, it, it can, but um, as long as you are integrity-based, there's nothing really to worry about and you can, you, I mean, it's kind of like so established and so status quo for you now, like these cycles of just having this slow upward curve, this slow upward momentum uh, is so set into place that for somebody to try to, try to tear that down is, um, 
I mean, they have to completely destroy themselves to do that. So, and even then it's uh, maybe 2% successful. So not to just stroke your ego, Scorpio, but I just kind of want to show you how strong you are now and how much, um, you know, you actually don't need to rely or depend on certain emotional experiences or certain closures or certain words from other people. And because that has been too too much for you over the last few years. There's been too much investment from Scorpios into the words of other people or into the like what you've needed to hear from other people or how other people have needed to like very subtly um, speak to you in refined ways. That that needs to just kind of off, you know, go off away. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the fourth week, Scorpios of July. So King of Swords rooted down by the Death card. So after these uh, pretty awesome three weeks that you go through, where, um, you know, it's kind of like a very business-oriented, uh, success-oriented um, theme that you're in there, and, you know, it might be good building up to the fourth week to focus a bit more on health and focus a bit more on things that really have not much to do with the ego, okay? Because I do sense quite a bit of ego here too, so um, Scorpio this year does really have to keep the ego in check and really find healthy ways of channeling the ego through exercise or through creative projects and really watching out for personal relationships and, and ego problems in personal relationships because maybe, I, I and I would urge Scorpios, you know, if there are any apologies that need to be made or any issues that you've identified relating to like negative ego you know apologize if you can if those doors are open um anything that you can do to heal old ego issues will be specifically beneficial at this time um as well and uh anything that can just you know work with the health of the body because also whenever ego gets really crazy there can be like a health issue too uh, that comes around so by healing the body you will heal any issues with the ego too um, and that that will be an important thing for this month because there's so much yes for you Scorpio there are so many green lights there are so many like yes do it yes you know do you know make this change you know build this up make this stronger enjoy this uh, abundance there's a lot of that this month and all of those things coming together can um, can really stimulate it's like such a stimulant you know like you might be really stimulated or really like um on 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 edge or or doing well and with that you need to really be in tune with your body and king of swords with the death card what i'm getting into here with the fourth week is there's a new mindset okay transformation of mindset yeah huge thing for you new ways of waking up new ways of going to sleep new ways of considering other people new ways of um clearing up your mind new decision making process oh my gosh scorpios i love this um so that indecisiveness that we pinpointed earlier in the month should really heal up by the end of july by the efforts that you make throughout july um and it should start to become much easier to make decisions and much easier to release old worn out patterns of thinking and self-sabotage and stagnation um that should really start to dissipate by the fourth week so as we move into august um, and specifically late August and Virgo season, when that really takes effect and you really start walking through life knowing that that change has happened, I'm kind of expecting for you guys to really have a much better time of things and to really um, start to show the face that this abundance and benevolence does give. So that's really neat, Scorpios. Um, also in the fourth week, you will want to um, watch your communication, okay? Um, this is an interesting thing for you guys as well. I think the Venus retrograde in Gemini might have given you some weird like communication things or people might not have quite understood you or people um, might have seen you um, perhaps even in, in an unflattering light. Uh, so it's important to really um, understand how you're coming off, how you're communicating, and just make it more authentic and more integrity-based. Um, authenticity and integrity this whole entire year for everybody never fails authenticity and integrity anything that defies those two words will can get you know really negative acclaim this year and um so it's important you know also not to exploit those ideals either so looking like you're operating through integrity or looking like you're authentic when there's actually a like very you know tearing dismissive sort of rupturing feeling inside that that you don't want to fake it you know um yeah, so really building that true authentic integrity this month so important Scorpios. I cannot I can not speak enough about it. Um because most of you are already there. I mean most of you like a few years ago kind of understood authenticity and integ and integrity in a new way. 
but um, if I can impress on you how important it is to put the cherry on top of that culmination, um, that will be a success for me because all Scorpios have to really, really keep in tune with those ideals. Otherwise, there can be like corruption, okay? There can be like weird like um, things. So because there is a lot of power and when people see power, especially if they think it's not authentic or it's not integrity based, you know, you then do start to attract in detract detractors or people who are trying to wield that in a certain way. So keep that vibration high Scorpios, keep that, you know, light barrier up. You want to really keep things clean and pure. So in the body too, you know, with the health, with all of that. So anyway, Scorpios, we've gone quite a ways. Is there anything else that I want to talk about before we end the reading? Um, what I will also say is um, what an incredible time for comfort. Okay, what an incredible time for an environment that supports you. We talked a little bit about it. Whatever you can do to keep your environment healthy and supportive and authentic and integrity based will be a wonderful, wonderful um, boon for you. Um, anyway, Scorpius, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude. I think what, what I want to say, though, is that July is a great month for you. Everything's upright. You've got a lot of major arcana, big changes coming in, big karmic implications. Um, the universe will help you and support you through any questions that you have, and especially by uh, Virgo season, okay, so end of August, early September, there should be a great evolution that has happened. Anyway, Scorpios, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Um, I am going to put together an extended reading over on Patreon. We'll look at a central theme. We'll look at two supporting themes and uh, get um, higher messages about what has come up in this reading. I hope you'll all come over and check it out. Um, my Patreon page is a great value right now. Um, for as low as $5 a month, you can get all the extended readings. You can get, um, you know, all of the tea chats as well. I do weekly tea chats and I do viewer requests here and there and uh, it's just a great value right now. I've been putting a lot of work and effort into it, so um, come over and check out the extended reading if you would like, and um, otherwise your likes, comments, and subscribes here on YouTube make my day. Let's jump over to Patreon now for the extended. You can click the center of the video. Much love, Scorpios. I'll see you next month. Bye.